Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. In this video art tutorial, we are going to learn how to create abstract drawings just like this. So these are two that I made yesterday and I'm going to teach you how I made them in this video art tutorial. But first, let's say our mantra to get started. We are strong, we are intelligent, we are creative, we are artists. Okay, now that we've said those positive words, let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need are these things to get started on this drawing with me. You're going to need something to color with. That could be colored pencils like what I used, or it can be markers, crayons, paints, whatever you like to color with or have available at home. The next thing you're going to need is two pieces of paper. These can be any kind of paper. Um, computer paper, what you print with, print paper, it can be anything. And then the last thing that you need is a Sharpie or a black marker or simply something dark that you're coloring with. Some things to know as we're getting started. The first one is abstract art. Let's go over that quickly. Abstract art is art that does not attempt to represent external reality. So something that you see around you, it doesn't attempt to to draw a flower vase perfectly, or a shoe, or a tree, something like that. But rather, it seeks to achieve its effect using shapes, forms, colors, and texture. The most important one that we are going to focus on today for our drawings is colors, because we have a lot of control over those in this art project. Um, the next thing to know as we're creating today is shading in evenly. You can see in my shapes, that um, if I tried to shade in this very evenly, if I didn't, it probably would take away from the total effect of the image. So for you to shade in evenly, there are a couple ways that you can do that. If you're using colored pencil like me, um, you're just gonna wanna start off light and color all in one direction. If you do something like, you know, like this and you're kind of like, going in different directions, it's easier to see the lines and unevenness of the shading. The next thing to know as we're creating today is line thickness. So we're going to pay attention to that as we are marking in the sharpie on our drawings. You can start off by making the lines just, you know, thin, and then, it, and then as you go, you can start adding more thickness um, to the lines. The last thing to know is colors because we get to pick those today. So you can see that I picked two different color palettes for these two drawings. For this one, I chose some blues, different color blues here, and then I also chose this orangey color. And then I used some black and white as well, and I used the white of the paper to show through. I did not draw that, and I used a little bit of a pattern right here. Um, so that's the color palette that I chose for this one. For this one here, I chose greens, oranges, pinks, and then black, and a little bit of white. I thought those all looked pretty together. Um, how I chose those is I just used a little paper like this, and I started pulling out colors that I liked. And then to decide if I liked them together, I just drew them close together like this. So this is the color palette that I chose for this drawing right here. And uh, this, oh no, this right here is the color palette that I chose for this right here. And you can tell in this example that I drew them, I drew the colors lightly. And then I also drew the colors heavier and harder on the paper so that they became darker because when you're using colored pencil you can make different colors um, depending on how hard you're drawing on the paper. So that's something to know as we get started. The first step for creating these drawings with me today is going to be getting a piece of paper. So here I have my piece of paper in front of me so the first step is actually going to be to crinkle up this paper. Maybe not what you thought we were going to do. Once you've crinkled up your piece of paper, go ahead and grab your Sharpie 
and we are going to start filling in some lines that we have here that we've just created by folding the paper. Now, since you're the artist, you can pick and choose which lines you want to follow or even if you want to follow them exactly. And you'll notice that with my two drawings, this one, I used all straight lines. I only drew straight lines on my wrinkled piece of paper. But this one, I used all curvy lines, very round, okay? So you can decide, do I want my drawing to look more about, is it more lines or is it more curves? There are two different effects that I got from just using my wrinkled piece of paper like this. So you'll do that by, you know, you when you follow the lines being more curvy or deciding I'm gonna be straight. So you go like, so you draw straight lines like that. It's just how, what your preference is and how you wanna create today. The next step, once you've finished tracing all the lines that you want to on your wrinkled piece of paper, go ahead and grab your new pieces of paper, the second one that I had you um, grab for this project. You're gonna lay that one over top and you can see that I already stuck a few pieces of tape on it to attach it to the other paper underneath. Um, your papers are probably the same size so you can kind of wrap it around the edge like this but mine are just slightly different and um, once you have the tape on there you are gonna find your nearest window grab your sharpie and then Copy the lines that you'll see through on the window on your paper. Here we go. I've just finished tracing all the lines from my wrinkled piece of paper onto my new piece of paper. I can get rid of this wrinkled piece of paper because we don't need it anymore. And the next step is choosing the colors that you want to use if you have already. So remember that I did that by sketching out colors that I liked and putting them close together so I could see if I liked them all together. Once you've chosen those, you can start drawing in the shapes on your paper. And um, you should think a little bit about how you want to place the colors on there because that's going to be the end effect, right? And you can even choose to use some patterns like the ones that I used on this one. And I also used one pattern on this drawing right here. So you can do as many or as few patterns as you want, but I thought it would be fun to put a few in these drawings. So go ahead and do that and let's come back in a little bit. Once you get the colors laid on there the way that you want to, you can go back in with your Sharpie and make some of the lines thicker than, than the other ones. And that one's gonna have, that's gonna have a cool effect. And even if you accidentally got some of your color, like I did quite a bit, onto your black lines, color back over those black lines to make them the deep black color again so that they don't get muddied by that lighter blue color or orange color. And once you've done that, you've finished your first abstract color piece of the day. Friends, thank you so much for creating with me today. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and that you've enjoyed making these art pieces with me.